Our goal all this week is to help families decide how to get safely back to school. On Monday, we showed you how to find the scientific COVID tracking number that experts say all parents can watch. Then yesterday, we showed you how a new law protects parents' income if they have to take care of a sick child or if their daycare closes. Both of those stories are on our website. You can find them under the rebound section. Now we continue helping you today with the growing trend of parents creating their own small neighborhood classes. If you've heard about it, you'll want to hear what our Alicia Nieves found it takes to make this successful. On March 13th, our kids jumped off the bus all together. There's nine of them in our neighborhood. They had two weeks off, but that turned into the rest of the school year. Jennifer Quadrosi in North Andover, Massachusetts, and her seven-year-old daughter spent the end of the school year and all summer social distancing with a group of parents and kids in their community. We call ourselves kind of the bubble. To keep her daughter still protected in their bubble, she has become one of many parents around the country considering micro-schooling for the upcoming school year. Right now, there are three families that are considering it, and that age range would be from first grade to third grade and we would follow the curriculum that was developed by our community and our schools. With micro-schooling, a few families join together to create a homeschooling pod. Quadrosi's playroom will become their pod's classroom. But we're going to line up um, desks along this area. And they'll likely pay an educational facilitator to teach the children. And that could be anyone from a retired teacher to a teacher's aide or a teacher that got laid off. One of the concerns around homeschooling pods is that there are many parents who can't afford to pay someone else to teach their kids. But there are some parents who are finding a way to make homeschooling pods more affordable. I am a stay at home mom and I'm very fortunate to be able to do that and I realize not everyone is, but the other parents that are in this pod are working parents. Gentelle La Rochelle's pod has each parent teaching their group of five kids one day a week, making it more cost effective and freeing up time for some parents to work. If this is something that parents really want to do, the options are there for them. It just takes a little bit of creativity. Pods can be formed organically with your friends and family or their Facebook groups now forming in almost every state around the country where parents are making connections. These two moms have learned though the key to creating a pod is starting your search early. You'll need time to talk with other parents that may be in your group about mostly creating a new set of rules or packed for your pod, especially around social distancing outside the created classroom because the main reason for micro-schooling is to give kids some socialization while reducing their health risks. My genuine hope is that this is just a one-year thing. I'm Alicia Nieves reporting.